Hello, everyone. Well, here's something we say every day of the week, don't we? It's a beautiful day for football in Manchester at the Etihad Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, it's difficult to be full of confidence when you're trying to pose problems for this Manchester City defence. Statistically, the best in the league, Stuart. Well, they've been so solid at the back, whether it's in front of their own fans or away from home, I think it comes down to communication. They're just so well drilled and organised. Hopefully for the neutrals, they do concede the first one today. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Good luck. Cheers. Game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the contest begins. Trossard on the ball Cucurella out of play for a Manchester City throw in Foden on to Silva and back with Bernardo Silva Rodri can he put it away well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. <laughs> He's driven in the corner. Well, they can bring it out now. They couldn't maintain possession. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Crossing opportunity. Bernardo Silva. Now Walker. Over the touchline for a throw-in. The Bruyne. Well, possibilities in the centre. Walker. De Bruyne. Oh, a fine block. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. De Bruyne. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Rodri. Oh, he's through here. Still a chance. The verdict is offside here.
Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And he read it well defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. He has time to play it over. Joel Feldman. That's a useful cross. And the danger is averted. Gross. Oh, he's gone for goal. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Now sending it in. Well, thumped clear. Not much time to make up his mind. Given away by City. And continues his run. Trossard. Oh, moving it nicely. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, putting it wide from there. Disappointing. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Kevin De Bruyne. Silva. Phil Foden now. Committed challenge. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Foden. Can they forge ahead? Safe, but still a chance. Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. the game back in business City ahead here message delivered from the referee to the fourth official three minutes on the board Silva Laporte Phil Foden now Might be able to get in behind the defence. So the referee blows his half-time whistle and it's all going to plan for Manchester City. They hold the advantage at the interval. Well, we discussed it before the game. They are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision-making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. Second half underway, with City looking to build upon a positive first-half performance. Oh, 
He's given it away. Now a potentially dangerous position for City. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, that is a superb save. Smuggled away. De Bruyne. Excellent defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Sterling. Foden. The ball with Rodri. Foden. And he takes on the shot. Just made sure nothing came of that. So a corner to City as they try to increase their advantage. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 10, Jack Grealish, to be replaced by 26, Riyad Mahrez. Now how about the short corner? Bernardo Silva. Ruben Diaz. Can he finish? Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Well, it's been all City in the last 15 minutes or so and have been pressing to extend their lead. They just need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Excellent passing. And simply couldn't beat the first defender. The referee has decided to give the free-kick decision the way of City. And they will make the change now. And an effective clearance. Pascal Gross. Lalana. Mope. Only well, failed to get it away properly. And in the end, no damage done. This is a message from Mo Ali. Mo Ali, can you please meet Jennifer? Bassett? Joao Cancelo. City moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? In with a chance. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Number 14, Nagarana. Coming onto the pitch, number 17, Stephen Alzete. Well, opting for the short corner. Sterling. Rodri. Here's De Bruyne. Ronaldo Silva. Cuts it back. Mares. Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story.
A change in the offing for City. Keen to take it short here. Corner again. But he's gone short with it. Pulls it back. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Gundogan. Bernardo Silva. Chance here. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So, 2 0 now. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Rodri. Silva. Bernardo Silva. Rodri! There it is! Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And so the referee blows the whistle. It is the end of the contest. And the three points go to Manchester City. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.